Hello friends, welcome to the ASP.NET Core tutorial series. In this video, we will see what is www root folder in ASP.NET Core and we will see how we use static files in ASP.NET Core application. So let's understand what is www root folder in ASP.NET Core application. So by default, the www root folder in the ASP.NET Core application is basically treated as a web root folder and this folder or we can say the directory should be present in the root project folder means like when we uh, create any static file in the application so all the static files should be stored under this folder called www root folder in a bit we will understand like how we use the static files and in asp.net core application the static file can be stored in any folder under this uh, www root folder and can be accessed access uh, with a relative path to the root like we have to give the the relative path of that particular file and through that we can access and for accessing the static files what we have to do we have to use the middleware the respective middleware in a bit we will understand what is the middleware for utilizing the static files so let's understand like uh, when we create an asp.net core web application uh, with web or the MVC template then by default this folder means this www root folder is created for us but when we create a ASP.NET core application then like with empty template then we don't see this www root folder so like for utilizing this www root folder what we have to do we have to add this folder in our application so that is about the www root folder in asp.net core application now next is what is the static files so by default an asp.net core application will not serve the static files the default directory for the static file is www root and this directory must be in the root project folder so let's understand like how this www root file work in asp.net core applications so let's go to the visual studio and in this visual studio like th this is the application which we uh, working with from the uh, uh, previous uh, video so what i will do let's remove these two middleware from here let's get rid of these and here what i will do i will write the asp.net core application and at point of this time when i will run the application so in the response what we will see we will see the asp.net core application as a response we will see here so after running we can see it is printing the asp.net core application let's close it now when we go to the project and here we see like currently we are not having folder called www root folder so let's add that folder first so right click right click on this project and once you will right click on this project here add and from here you can um, create the new folder called www root and uh, once we create it and hit enter we can see like it created a folder a folder www root for us so let's close this one and let's close this also even uh, we can see like as we have seen in the part two of this tutorial series when we add any file all the references is go to the cs project file also and we can see the respective um, reference it has given as a folder uh, include www root so let's close this one now inside this like if we have to use any static file in our application then all those static files go inside the www root folder so right click on this one and under this just add any file so what i'm going to add i'm going to add a new item and that item i'm going to add as a home dot html page so let's add any html page from here so once i will select i can select this one and here the name i can give any name we can give from here so i will give home dot html so let's add this one and here in the body i can give any tag so i'm going to take as to tag and writing home page 
let's close this one and at point of this time when i will run this application we will see like we will not uh, see this home.html page as of now like we can see we are not able to see the page even if i will navigate to the respective page called home.html then also we are seeing only the asp.net core application and what is the reason like why we are not able to see that particular page the reason is behind that because we have to use the middleware to access that page even instead of this home.html page if we will use any other static file like uh, any uh, png file or images or any javascript file then that time also it will not allow us to see that respective file and the reason is that we are because we are not using any middleware so at point of this time like if we have to see the respective pages then what we have to do we have to add the um, like a middleware here so for adding the middleware what we have to write like app dot use static file so this is the uh, like um, middleware name through this we can access the particular file so let's run this application and once i will run this application and i will navigate to the respective page then it will show the that particular page to us so let's write it home.html and once i will uh, navigate to this home.html we can see here we are looking the home.page and that is happening because of the middleware so in asp.net core application if we are going to use any um, page or any static file or any, anything we have to use the respective middleware and this asp.net core works with the middleware for an example like here i will add any like any folder i will add and this folder i will give as a images and, and inside this images i am going to add any like uh, i will add so let's take this image and this image i will put inside this image folder let's paste it inside this image folder now i want to access this image so for accessing that image what we have to do we have to give this um, respective path so for that respective path how we can get we can get under this images and Im inside this images we have to use that particular file name and what is that file name let's see so let's go here uh, logo.png so through that we have to use it so let's run again and let's go to that respective path logo dot png and once i will hit enter we can see like we are looking the respective image here so this is the way of calling any static file in asp.net code application like we have like we can add any java script file also here to use the like uh, to use any java script static file like we can create a folder and through the respective path we can access it now let's un uh, understand like uh, i want to serve a default page for an example like when i uh, run this application and i want a uh, like uh, when i run this application at uh, like for an example like when i run this application and at point of this time i want a default page so for how we can access that page so for um, getting that uh, default page first what we have to do the, for this one first of all we have to use the middleware and let's understand so for using the default page we have like that particular page should start with index.html uh, or index.htm default.htm or default.html that particular default page should use uh, with these name like that uh, page should contain these things and we have to use this use default file middleware for that one so let's go to the visual studio and here what i will do inside this html root i will add a one html file let's new item and here i will add the html page as a like default html so once i will use that default at html it created and here i will take a s2 tag 
inside this h2 tag i will take default page and here i will use the uh, like middleware and the middleware name is the use default file and we have to remember that like that middleware we have to use before the use static file if we will add that um, uh, like a use default file middleware after this use static file then it will not work so app dot use default files and once i will add this one and i run this one so why default it will take the default dot html page for us so when i will run to this application we will see like uh, we are looking like by default as a default dot page so this is the way uh, we can create our uh, application with the default page so what we have to remember like uh, this use default file must be called before use static file to serve the default file because this use default file is a url url rewriter that doesn't actually serve the file it simply rewrite the url to the default document which will then be served by the static file middleware the url displayed in the address bar still reflect the root url and not the rewritten url so this is the way of calling the default file now i want like i don't want to use this default or like any kind of the page what i want to use like my default page should start with the home.html or any uh, page like login.html that static file uh, should contain uh, like contain like different name instead of these four names then how we can access that one so for accessing that one what we have to do we have to make some changes to the application and for that we have to use the option like we have to create a default file option object and through that we can access it so let's make some changes to this application for making some changes so what we have to do first we have to use this default file options dot default sorry default file option uh, option and then we have to create a object of this one so what object i can take i can take as a default equal to new and default file option and here in this default we have to first what we have to do whatever the uh, like uh, file name we are having means whatever these four four file name are there first we have to clear all those things so for that what we have to do default files name dot clear first we have to clear all those name and then we have to add our default option page name so default file name dot add and in this what we have to go do we have to give the name as a home dot html so let's give home dot html and once we give this home dot html then what we have to do app dot use default file this app dot use default file when you will see it has three overloaded method one is the default and second when we see it take the default file options like the object of default file option and third is take the request path like if any path we want to give it so we can give this object name to this one after giving let's run this application and once we uh, give this uh, like when we run this application what we should see we should see like home dot html page here and we can see the respective page here so this is the way like we can customize our default page also in this application now next is like how we want to use this file server like we have a another middleware called use file server so what this use file server do this use file server basically combine the functionality of this use default files and the use static files and including with the directory browser like for an example we want to browse any directory in the application then for that purpose we use the use file server so let's understand like how use file server works into the application so for that one like what we have to do let's comment all these uh, uh, code first and here 
let's hit enter and here what we have to do we have to create an object of file server options so here I, I'm taking as a file equal to new file server option and here like file dot default file option like this one we have taken default file option object here now this we are taking through the file server option so default file option now here what we have to do we have to give the name so dot default file name so first what we have to do we have to clear as we did before and next what we have to do we have to give the name so file dot default file options dot add dot default files name dot add and in this what name we have to give we have to give the html sorry home dot html home dot html and once i do it now next what we have to do we have to add app dot use file server use file server and inside this one we can see it has the four overloading method one is the default and next it take the boolean property and next it take the file server option object so here we can take the files and let's do it and run the application and once i will run the application it will work as it is we are expecting and we got the result previously like it will give the home dot uh, like home page to us so this uh, file server option do the operation for both the use static and use default file the important point to note here is that like we used to add middleware to our application request processing pipeline in the most cases we add the middleware using the extension method that we start use keyword for an example like what i'm trying to say here like whatever the middleware we use here you can see like whatever the middleware i have used here i have used using the use method here like use file server and here we can see use default of um, files and these uh, middleware take the option as a file server option so you can see like here if i will this is like use file server is a middleware this take the parameter as a file server option like it append with the file server option so this is for a reminding purpose like how we can utilize this so in the asp.net core application if we want to use any static files then we have to use this default file option or we can do it using the file server option so in, in like these are the like we, we have seen these are the middleware like use developer exception page this is like here we can see at the top of like to um, check the uh, exception page like any exception at the development mode we can use using the uh, use developer exception page middleware and apart from this one we have seen like use default file use static file and use server are the some like middleware which we have used in ASP.NET Core application and if we want to use the option object then we can see use developer exception page is use the option object name as a developer exception page option like at last it append the option only and from the first it remove the use so this is the way of remind uh, like remember all these middleware name in the respective object option object name in ASP.NET Core application so that's it for this tutorial. If you have any question and doubt, please comment. Thank